Well, it's a beautiful day out. It's 4th of July, so I thought I'd get out and do some digging at the old fairgrounds. And so see what we can come up with. Hopefully we can find some good stuff out here today. I've found quite a few silvers out here and lots of wheat pennies. So let's see what we can come up with. I'll bring you in on our first find. All right, for our first find, guys, I think we got silver already. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I haven't looked at it, just popped it out. It was ringing up about 84, 83. That means usually silver dime. And that looks silver to me. We got a silver rosy right off the bat. Can't beat that. That is sweet. Let's see if we can get a date off of that there. Let me get into view here. There we go. That looks like it's gonna be a 46, probably first year. Awesome. Bring you back in, because I don't know what I have. Just dug it up, it's ringing as an 81. But it's got a shiny edge. And I am going to assume that it's silver. Yep, I think we got another silver rosy, guys. Yep, right there we go. 58. That is pretty sweet. Let's do another find here. This is kind of cool looking. Not for sure exactly what it is, but it's got a little llama on top. It's rang up really good. And it says 925. We got silver, guys, right off the bat. That is awesome. Very cool. Silver. Bring it pretty good. I was thinking it was going to be weedy. We got us a spell ball here. This is going to be aluminum. It's pretty light. But that is a little spell ball, probably for a kid. That is neat, though. I just happened to look down and saw something that uh, might be something pretty cool. And let me get my pocket knife out because I'm going to have to pry it out. It is a surface find. Let's see if you guys can see it there. Yep, that's what it is. Nice old marble right there. Very cool. Nice. I just found another one, guys. Let's get my pocket knife out again. And, uh, if you were finding marbles, that's where kids were at, you will definitely find coins. Especially these nice old marbles like that. Nice. All right. Bring you back in. 83.84. Silver dime range. I see something right on the surface there. I'm going to take my glove off. I have not moved it. Let's see what we have. We got a rosy. Let's see if we can get a date. 56. We got silver, guys. Nice. The next find, we got a weedy. And from what I tell, it's a 1940s. I think it's a 44 right there. Got a weedy. And it's a sweetie. All right, I'll see you on the next find. Just popped out a, another coin here. Let's take a look and see what it is. It's a Lincoln. And it's wheat. And get a date off it and also saw that little locket right here a little locket right next to that weedy and it's gonna be a 40s also but pretty sweet two finds right next to each other awesome just pulled up another weedy Let's see if we get a date off of that one can't quite tell it's got a mark right through where the date would be. I'll have to bring you in when I know something better. When we're doing the wrap up I'll show it to you guys. Just pulled up another weedy here. I don't know if we'll get a date off of that one. We might be able to. Let's zoom in and see. Get my glove off. There we go. Looks like it's going to be another 40s. That's my best guess. 
All right, bring you in on the next find. Well, I thought I'd show this. Because we got a penny right here. And we got a shotgun head stamp right there. And that's just going to be zinking. And we got a head stamp from a shotgun shell. That's pretty sweet. And the uh, compact case. Just hit a little hot spot, and I'm going to be very careful with it. There's got to be coins around here somewhere. Cause I got a marble here, a marble here, one here, an old button, another marble, and I think I saw a few more laying around here. I'm going to be checking for coins, try to find some old silver out here, and that's what I'm aiming for. There's another button there, nice little pearl button looking thing. Most of this is just laying right on top of the ground, so I know there has to be coins here. It's probably an old home site. So I'm going to be looking around and metal detecting. Let's find some good stuff. Just pulled up a coin right there. We have a weedy. Yep, that's gonna be a weed. Let's take a look at it. Definitely a weed. Let's see if we can get a date. 1941. Not bad. There's gotta be silver out here somewhere after buying all those marbles for sure. See you on the next one. I think I popped out another one here. Let's see what we got. We got a Lincoln for sure. And we got another wheat. That is awesome. I'm gonna put it in some sunlight here. Let's zoom in. Let's see what we got. Can't quite make it out. Let's try up here. Zoomed in a little more. That's gonna be a 30s. That is awesome. Just got down to it. Ring up pretty good. We got us an old Jeep. No wheels, but a nice old die cast Jeep right there. That's pretty cool. We got a surface find here. Not for sure what it is yet. It's definitely a Lincoln. Hopefully it's not a Zinkin. Oh, it's gonna be a Weedy. That's another wheat. Sweet. Just picked up another one. So we got another Weedy there. Looks like it's gonna be a 44. Yep, that's what it is. Just pulled up something interesting. It's like all copper. It's got a name on it. It's got a little compass there. It's interesting. I'll get that cleaned up and we'll see what it is. That is neat. Well, just popped out another one. We got us another weedy. There's gotta be silver around here somewhere many weedies and marbles. That's gonna be a 51. That's pretty awesome. See you on the next find, guys. Of all those buttons I've been pulling up, look what I just pulled up now. A great seal button. That is freaking awesome. Wow. Sweet. This is ringing up pretty good. I think it's a cuff button. Still got the gold plating on it. That's pretty neat. Awesome back in for another freaking awesome find check that out that's the boy scouts right there that is awesome i think i've only found one other one before like that lapel pin that is sweet well i got another cool find here check that out three merry widows yep it's a condom tin these are pretty old that is pretty neat though got one I don't know what I just dug up, but it's definitely different. I think it's German. I think that's a German or Russian. Very light, it's probably made out of aluminum. Definitely a very cool old foreign coin there. Let's see if we can get a date off of this one. I'm trying to remember where the date would be. Okay, so let's turn it straight like that. Uh, 
I'm not seeing it there clearly yet. Try the other side. There's the eagle there. That is still a very neat find though. Awesome, bringing another cool find. Got an anchor there, some kind of pendant or button. That would definitely be navy. That is neat. Bring you back in because I got another little cool find here. A little charm. So let me zoom it in a little bit. Got a pew pew and the belt. That is pretty sweet. Nice old charm. Not sure what it's made out of yet. We got yet to clean it up. Just got us another weedy. Not sure about the date on it yet. Let's see if we can shine some light on it. 35, nice. You guys aren't gonna believe this. This is freaking awesome. Uh, thought I had get something like that, bring it up. Nope. We got us a buffalo. Right there. Yeah, a buffalo nickel. That is incredible. Let's see if I can get some light on that. And that one's in pretty good shape. Where'd I go with it? There we go. It's hard to see the sun so bright. There it is. I can't hardly believe it myself. It's right on the surface there, if you guys can see it. We got a fake a Kennedy. Ah, not sure. Let me get my glasses on. The size of a half. No, it's not a half. I believe that is old Mexico. Yep. That is an old Mexico coin right there. Not sure about the date yet. 1929, five cent. That is freaking awesome. Wow, that is a great find. Nice. Let's do a quick wrap up of this week's metal detecting finds. So as you can see, this is all the taco money that I have. All the rotten zinc pennies are right there. We did end up with over a dollar worth of copper pennies right here. Got quite a bit in nickels. We have one, two, three, four, five, six dollars, probably six dollars and a half right there in dimes. And then for the quarters, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve dollars. And that's 13, 13, 25. So for the better finds, we're gonna slide on over here. As you can see, I have a full table. I have a bunch of keys that I found also right here. Well, they'll go into my key jar. Got lots of those. Set those off the side. One of my favorite finds of this time was this one right here. This is complete copper and it says Ray on it, which I thought was pretty cool. And then A-N-T-H-I-S. It is a compass there. It's got the world map on it. I don't know what it belongs to, but it is awesome. And uh, really, really enjoyed finding that. And then I found the little arrow. Maybe it's pointing to a treasure map. So that was very cool. Did find a shotgun head stamp there. It is pretty old and rotten. Quite a few bullets. Some have been shot and some are almost deteriorated completely away. I did find this. So I may try to bend it back in place a little bit. It is a compact and uh, try to get more cleaned up. It is pretty neat looking. So we ended up with a whole stack of buttons. That one place was just absolutely loaded with old buttons and stuff. All different designs and shapes. My favorite buttons are right here. We got the two anchors. These are both, this one is definitely bronze. So I'm thinking this is navy for sure. We got the great seal button too. That was freaking awesome. Did find the Bobcat right here, Boy Scouts of America. Very, very neat too. This one is a pretty neat one also. I'm not sure about it, it says Hawk Brake. 
some kind of button there. I did find a bale seal. That was pretty cool, pretty cool too, because it's over by the railroad, but a nice old bell seal there made of lead. So over here, as you can see, found all kinds of odds and ends, like makeup cases, lipstick cases. They've all been smashed and destroyed, but they are pretty cool. An old clock part there. Back to an old pocket watch. It's pretty neat. Found the old car. Don't know how old it is yet. We did get the three uh, Merry Widows right there. And this is a nice old piece of history right there. You guys know about that. Did get this spoon. It says TWA on it. That airway doesn't even exist anymore, but it is silver plated. So it was pretty cool. Found this little doodad here. I guess it's to open up beer and stuff like that. A little different. A whole stack of marbles, which uh, in those old hot sites like that, that's what you're going to find. For the jewelry and stuff, I got one earring here, an old silver plated belt buckle. Got the gold plated little button there. I was thinking maybe a cuff button. I got a gold plated locket. And I found part of a broken cross. Uh, I believe this is going to be a suspender clip, from like a lady's underwear clip. Uh, got another bullet here. Got a part of a broken chain. This, I still don't know what it is. It was interesting. But I still don't know what it is. Or what it would go to. We got a nice old green bottle here. Definitely it's got its purples and golds and stuff like that. It is a screw top. It's not super old. I found this big, giant iron ball. Not for sure what it goes to. It looks like a giant beat ball. Um, if we were in Civil War territory, then I would definitely be thinking it's a cannonball, but not in the location where I was at. Don't think that's what that would be. All right, so let's get to the really good stuff here. We're gonna move over here. I did find 11 wheat pennies. The oldest being 1920. I had several from the 30s, from the 40s, and the 50s, of course. But we uh, got a good stack here of just wheat pennies. So I ended up with 11 total on that. I am not for sure if this is a button or not. It's got a square hole in it. And... I don't know what it is. It looks like it's solid copper. Ring up like solid copper and it's got weight to it for sure. It could just be a washer or it could have been an old coin that they turned into a washer. I don't know, but that was pretty neat too. This was one of my favorite finds there, the 1929 Mexico five centavo. That is a very neat coin there. Did find out this is a 1954, and I believe it is Russian, and it is aluminum. A nice old coin there too, a couple of foreign, got a very nice 1936, it's a 36 Denver, Buffalo, not in bad shape, usually when you dig these things up, they're not in great shape, this one's not too bad. We did end up getting three silver dimes here. So this is a 46, a 58. I believe this one was the 56, yep. Three silver dimes. Got this nice little charm here. Little pew pew charm. Don't know what it's made out of, but it was kind of neat to find that. This is puzzling. It says Peru on it. I'm not for sure what it is, but it is sterling silver. It says 925 up there. So, uh, very neat. Found quite a bit of silver this time. Four pieces of silver, a buffalo. I uh, did get a little baby spoon there, too. So, here's another button. It says Safe Brand. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, turned out to be an awesome hunt with all of this stuff here. And, uh, 
I had an absolute blast this week. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this too. So we'll see you on the next hunt. I'm gonna go dig up some more stuff. See you later.